Welcome to the Gateway Carols. Everyone who comes to Gateway is welcome. And you can always head to gatewaybaptist.com.au to find out more about us, our service times in person or online, or ask for prayer at any time. We hope that wherever you are and whenever this finds you, that your heart is encouraged and you are filled with the hope that you have in Jesus today. Enjoy the carols. Merry Christmas! Welcome to Carols 2022, guys. We're back again! And uh, we're not singing this year. Woo! So good. So good. It was a good song last year, go on. Christmas. That's right, it's good. Yeah, that's it's good. good. It's good. Have a Christmas. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? What's oh, this here? Oh, what is that? Oh, is, that? Oh, is, that? Oh, is that? Those are numbers. Those yeah. are numbers. Yeah. Why are they counting down? They're counting down. What are they counting down? Anyone got an idea on what they are? What is coming up? It's microwave with the popcorn. Popcorn. Yes. Yes. Microwave. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think that's what it is. That might be a long time for popcorn. It is. It is. Do you think it's the start of the show? Oh. Maybe. Maybe. We don't have much time left no, at the start of the show. I don't know, we are not ready. No, no. not at all. No. What have we got to do, Rach? What's 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 the plan? We need costumes and we've got to have a vocal warm-up based on that yes. performance. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. 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 Alright, good call. We, let's split the party. Yeah, who's going to Good idea, good idea. Um, start away. Okay, okay. alright, okay. 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 Oh, we're here. Okay, guys, we yeah. have to warm up our vocal cords and get ready for tonight to sing. We're gonna sing a lot. All right, so yeah. Um, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, this is a piano. Do you know how to yeah. play, uh, play a piano? I know, like, a Christmas carol. Oh, good, okay, oh, yep, that's 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 we'll sing that. Good. Maybe okay, that will help okay, us. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Ooh, Christmas jingle. carol. Jingle bells. Mm, love yep. it, love it. Good, good, okay, all right. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Ready, ready, ready. La 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 la. I don't know, guys. This seems a bit boring. Yeah. Boring. Boring. I think we can switch it up a little bit and you know, create a bit more. Okay. Okay. Let me have a look. Let me have a Energy. Look. Energy. Let me have a look. Um, what about this button? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. I got the perfect oh, yeah. thing for this. Give me two, 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 two. What's What is? What is? What is, what is going on? Good. Hey, we could we could stretch. Let's stretch. Okay. Oh, guys, have you found anything yet? I found a few things, but I'm not sure if they're things that'll work just yet. Oh, the bigger. Oh, hey, Rachel, I've got an idea. Okay. Yes. Snowflakes. Bigger is better, as yes. you mentioned. Yes. But I do think it was hot when the Christmas story happened, so I don't think that's right. The right costumes and props. And I think it's very vintage. We've already done it. Yeah, we've done. That's old. Yeah. Old news. Yeah. Old news. We're at the draft. Oh, guys, where have you found? Rachel, what about these for the wise men? I think that's more shepherd vibes. Oh, Quick. But I'm wearing one. It's quite nice. Them. Yeah, you can be shepherd. Matthias, okay. catch. Um. Oh, here's a wise men costume. Rachel, here. Hold it. Nice. Harry. Yeah. Harry, oh, I yeah. found oh, what yeah. you need. Oh, you definitely take these. Oh, okay. We've got to drive the story. I've got to drive. I'm driving, I'm ready. Where, what, about the baby? Huh? what do you think the others huh? are up to? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Guys, what baby Jesus? Yeah, we'll need that. Yes. Uh, put that here. Yeah, yeah take, take a knife. This could be one of the gifts, maybe. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yes. yes. Um, I've got a cowbell, I've got a cowbell, yeah, everyone. Yeah, cowbell, yeah, checked off the list. Yeah, I've got that in the pile. Oh, oh, it's a desert sunscreen. Oh, good. Wait, what yeah. time the is it? Forgot to have... What time? Should we better get back to the oh, studio. Oh, 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 Guys, we're back. We're yes. back. We're back. Done the warm up. Yes. yes. All the co drama costumes with drama guys. Yeah. 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 Ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah. But, um, yeah. What are what are these? I don't know. Buttons done. Uh, uh, are they buttons? Uh, yes. You should push. 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 Yeah. Push. Push. Yeah. Yeah. Push. 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 Push.
something. Yes. Whoa, that okay. That one. Yes. Second yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Push it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. horrible. Can I push it again? No, 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 no not doing no, that one. Okay, no. guys, I reckon for the third button, everyone has to do a big drum roll. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. Yes. everyone, yes. big drum roll, ready? Go, 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 go! Whoa! Whoa. That is cool. That, that is pretty nice cool. Somebody should probably fix that though. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, look at the legs. That's cool. There's one button left, guys. Oh, yes. And the timer. Guys, right. timer. Timer. timer! We'll press it at the end, I reckon. Like, yeah? Oh, right. yeah. 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 Yeah.
found it yet? Um, no, no. What number was it again? Um, it was D31. D31? Well, this is D, but this lady's 86, so 31's over your side. Oh, the little number. Yes, yes, not over here. Oh, hello, how are you? Uh, Tim? Yes? Someone's sitting in that chair. Yes. Did you steal someone's chair again? No, I just want to let them know that everyone who comes through those doors is welcome. We're very lucky oh, this gosh. evening because we get to witness the birth of the baby Jesus. That's right, Tim. And you know what? What's that, Mel? 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 Yes. You know my name's not Mel, don't you? We've been friends how long? A long time. A long time. But your name is very, very hard to say, very, very long. It just falls out of my brain. It's not that long, ready? I'll say it and then okay. you say it after, ready? Mel Kizabrahalem, you Benjera Mizobadiah. Come on, your, your turn. Are you sure? Go on. Okay. Yeah. Mel Kizabrahalem, you Ben and Jerry's for D31 tonight. Welcome, team. Get on that today. Yes, get them, get them. Completely on wrong. And you can't give out free ice cream. We don't have that. I can, and I did. No, you can't. Okay. One more time. All right. Mel Kiz Abrahalem, you Benjer and Mizobadiah. The third senior. Are you done? Yes, I am done, Tim. All right, well, Mel, can you remind all these lovely people why we're here today? Of course, of course. Tim, you and I have been sent here to observe the birth of this Jesus lad. Oh, get We've him, got oh, get all... him. He's not there yet. Put that back. It's express delivery. Put it back. Okay. <laughs> not yet. Goodness me, can't take you anywhere. We've got all of our scrolls and ancient texts yes. that tell us exactly what's supposed to happen. Like this one here from a guy named Isaiah. He was a prophet, Tim, like us. Hmm. I have revelation. Put that away. That's for much later. Oh, Isaiah, I Isaiah. see. I see. Yes, me. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, it says here. Therefore the Lord himself, big fan. Big fan of him, by the yes, way. Yes. Mm. Will mm. give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel. Yes. Emmanuel, my Spanish cousin. What's he doing in this story? Are you sure you read that right? Go check with someone. Che I'll, I'll check with someone who can read. Oh, I can read. so terrible. Can you read? Oh, he can read. Oh, what does good. it say? Emmanuel. Oh, well, pronounce the UL next time. I will, I will. Very important. That's the other name for Jesus, Tim. Hmm. Well, I those are pretty clear instructions, and we've got every prophecy ever told about the coming of the Lord. And our job today is to make sure that nothing goes wrong, and everything that's supposed to happen is supposed to happen. Watch this. Come and look at this. Ooh, our favorite this. part. And if it doesn't belong, <laughs> it's out. Well done. Thank you, everybody. We scared some people in the front row. We did. It's a bit loud. <laughs> well, look, we have a very easy job today. Absolutely. Unlike any other year. Do you remember that one year? We had to make sure those Israelites went straight through oh. the desert. I'm an Israelite. Look, look at me. In I'm stuck in the desert. 40 years. Eating manna from the sky. Let's just find our seats and make sure there are no unnecessary interruptions to this story. Well, good morning and welcome to It's wonderful to have you here joining us. And whether you're in the room or you're joining us on the live stream, I hope that you'll sing along loudly throughout the morning. We're going to start by singing the first Noel.
Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. was just so beautiful. Uh, nothing could ruin this moment right here. Uh, what was that? I, I don't know. Uh, uh, let's get on stage to get a better listen. It's a lot of cardio. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis is in the building. That's not supposed to happen. The one through a party in the county yeah. jail. The prison band was there and they began to wail. The band was jumping and the joint began to swing. You should have heard the knocked out. I'm singing a song right no, here. No, no, that's quite enough from you, thank you. No, no, you, I everyone was enjoying my song, right? I don't think you're a part of this story. And, and I'm looking right here in this here scroll and doesn't okay. see anything about no... Hey, hey, hey man. Singing. Hey, watch my hips. Sing hey, some stuff. watch my hips. Yes, yes, and I'm having a look here and okay. I don't see anything either. No, I see... No, hang on, that's upside down. No, well, yes. But either way, you're not in it. Oh. I see Mary and Joe in the stable. Mary looking and Joe. lovely, by the way. But no rock and roll show off. Well, I feel right. I feel you're good. out. I'm not out. We talk. We brought a friend. He's come to get you. Hey, who's that? Hey, man. Come get out. this riffraff hey. off the stage. Hey, now listen. I don't know. Uh, do you know who I am? Hey, I know Karate. Hey, man. I'm a black belt. Watch out. Bye -bye. Watch out. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Can I sing you a song? He I'm here. He's a fine addition to the team this He's year. He's always there right when we need oh, him. There it is, as it should be. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's go.
infringement notices from the governing bodies, we are the Giggles! And we are not like those other guys. Mm -mm -mm. For one, we have a big blue car. That was my pick. That we do. And our pirate captain has feather nunchucks. Oh my oh. Get a bit rowdy. So before you guys accidentally hurt yourselves, I'm just going to interrupt before anything happens, just to let you know that if you look over here, Jess has fallen asleep again. 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 This is not the first time it's happened. So what we need to do is we need your help and we need you to do your biggest and loudest voices and say, wake up Jess on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, up Jess. Jess. Just a yawn. Come on. We need to go bigger. Thought this we is had our last time. chance. Ready? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, up Jess. Jess. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh my <laughs> now we've got Jess back. Who's I'm, excited I'm back. for Christmas? I'm back. Me. I am so excited. You guys, are you even excited for Christmas? Who's excited for Christmas? Woo! There we go. I'm That's super it. excited. All right, I'm going to say Merry. You guys say Christmas. Are you ready? Merry. Christmas. Christmas. Merry. Christmas. That's the way. Amazing. Hey, you guys, I reckon a moment like this calls for a Mexican wave. Oh, yes. Don't Absolutely. You think? I reckon. Let's I, get I this agree. sorted. All let's right, go. Let's start, let's start from over here. So, everyone, are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! 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 Yeah, that was awesome. Excellent work. Look, now that we're all awake and warmed up, I reckon it's time we sing a song. Kids, do you want to sing a song with us? Yeah, come on. Okay, I want to hear your loudest voices and we are going to sing Jingle Bell. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
See if there's any skittles in our prophecies. Mm, yes, hey, yes, yes. Let me see that. Let me see. Now, mm. oh, they've got no regard for personal mm. space. No, in there. Nope. Uh, there's nothing in nope. mine, Tim. Have you got anything in yours? Nothing in mine, but it does say in Luke, a large army of angels appeared, which you did not, which you were not. No. Praising God and singing glory to God in the highest, which you did not. Oh. No. Terrible. Oh. Didn't say anything for about four skivvies and their jingle bells. Well, it looks like you're out. Let's go, let's go. Out you go. What? Shoo shoo. Get this riffraff off the stage. Easy off. Bam. One, two, three, four. These skittles are no more. Mm. (gasps) They won't be missed. No, Mm. they will not. Terrible singers. Absolutely. But look here, look here, look here. The angels and And baby baby Jesus. Jesus. Good claps over here. Lovely, lovely. How's everybody going today? You enjoying the carols? Yeah, that's great. Why don't you sing along? It's one of my favorite carols, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Yeah. 
his ways.
Gateway, we started Bloom 13 years ago to see young women build new lives after surviving the unimaginable horrors of being trafficked. Our heart is to see them filled with hope and confidence and to learn new skills so they can start new careers and never be trafficked again. These women have survived the horrors of human trafficking and because of the nature of their exploitation, many are rescued pregnant or with small children. As they look for a chance to build a new life, what are they to do? I don't remember much about my family because I was sold when I was young. When I was a teenager and pregnant, I was rescued and invited to come to Bloom to learn how to make beautiful cakes. I was so happy. It was very hard work because I'd never been to school, but I kept trying and eventually I graduated with my certificate. It was the proudest day of my life. But every day I struggled to find safe care for my baby while I was in Bloom. I worried about her all day. One day it was all too much and I had to make 
an impossible decision to leave Bloom. Over time, this turned out to be even worse and I hit rock bottom. It was then I realized that my job at Bloom was my only chance for survival. I love my kids and want to be the best mother I can, but it's so hard to keep my children safe and build a better future for both me and my family. This is Teaser's story, but it's a story shared by so many mums at Bloom, and they all want the same thing, to build a future of light, not just for them, but for their kids too. For more than 13 years, the Bloom community has fought for trafficking survivors on their journey to long-lasting freedom. This Christmas, we can support Bloom's young mums and their children by building an early learning centre. With your help, we can break cycles of trafficking. Young mums can stay in the good jobs and training provided at Bloom, and their children will never have to face the same unthinkable exploitation that they did. Generations will change forever. At its capacity, paying clients will sustain the centre and subsidise spaces for young mums who are desperately trying to rebuild their lives. We see a future where Bloom's mums drop their kids off at the early learning centre, beaming with confidence because they know they are providing them with a future of light. This Christmas, we get to support the incredible work of Bloom once again. Your gift won't only support women like Tirza to build a new life after surviving years of horrors, but this year, you're invited to help build an early learning centre where their little children will be safe, will learn about Jesus, and have the best possible start in life. This is what generational change looks like and I encourage you to give generously this Christmas and help build futures of light for Bloom women and for their kids. Thanks, Gateway. Have a great Christmas. Good morning, everyone. How are we enjoying carols this morning? What a talented bunch of people, aren't they? You know, it's been such a joy and a privilege for me over the last 13 years to get to see firsthand the incredible work of Bloom in Cambodia and the way that they are bringing hope and healing to girls who have been through some unthinkable trauma. You know, Bloom is such a hope-filled place to be as Jesus is healing them one day at a time. And I'm really excited that this Christmas through our Futures of Light appeal, we get to partner with Bloom once again to raise money to build an early learning centre so that these beautiful mums, when they come to work, drop their kids off, they know with confidence that not only are their children being well cared for and nurtured, but they're safe, something that we as parents all hope for our children. We have the opportunity to bring generational change to bloom this Christmas. And these children will never have to experience the same trauma that their mothers did. I'm really excited as well. We're blessed this year to have the CEO of Bloom Asia with us, Mr. Dave Saxby. Would you welcome Thank you, him? Everybody. Thank you for having me. And we also have the special privilege of having four of our local Cambodian leaders with us. Would you please welcome to the stage Satya, Bhopa, Danite and Chi Chi. And of course, the lovely Ruth Lowell, who is the co-founder of Bloom and is now the director of Trauma Care. It is our absolute honour to be here with you this morning. Um, and it's, it's, I just want to say as the CEO of Bloom, um, a huge thank you for opening your hearts to the, the incredibly challenging um, but Im important work that Bloom is doing. Um, it is my joy this morning to be able to introduce you 
uh, to the team who is actually doing the hard yards on the ground in Cambodia uh, today. This is Satya Chan, our country director who runs the entire show over in Cambodia. Give her a huge round of applause. Satya has been working with Bloom for over 11 years now. And Satya, as we pass the mic down the line, before we do, would you just like to share what Bloom means to you over the past 11 years? Thank you, Dale. Bloom means a lot to me, and I love working at Bloom every day. And I love that Bloom is not just a job and training, but it is like a safe family for the girl to heal and grow in. And I want to take this opportunity, thank to everyone for partnering with us this year and giving us generously so that we can create a safe place for Mom of Bloom and their children. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Popa. I am a business development manager. I create more jobs for the girls. Hello everyone, I'm Danette. I'm a counselor. I'm looked after the girl hard. Hi, my name is Gigi. I'm in marketing, selling our product. And at the road, is that every day I lead worship and play a game to bring as my joy to the girl at Bloom. Mm. How much joy she brings to the girls as she leads them in worship and games, brilliant. You know, every time I go to Bloom, I am blown away by the incredible job these very talented, lovely ladies do um, and the way that they love the beneficiaries of Bloom and show the heart of, of God to them. So well done, team. Ruth, you must be so proud of this team. So, 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 so proud of them. It was always our goal that the, the local leadership would take over the, the running of Bloom and they have exceeded our wildest expectations. We're so, so proud. <laughs> well done, team. It's great. I want to encourage you to give generously this Christmas to our futures of Light Appeal that we can continue to see change uh, through the work of Bloom through the Early Learning Centre. You can do that in a new number of ways. You can grab the giving card that is on the seat as you came in. You can scan the QR codes on the seat in front of you or you can go online and take these out to the Future of Light stand on your way out. The team, these lovely ladies, uh, would love to say hello to you. And of course, the gentlemen at the end would love to as well. So visit them on the way out and give them uh, your Futures of Light donation uh, this Christmas. Why don't you join me as I pray uh, for the team? God, I thank you for the incredible work of Bloom and, and these beautiful leaders and the way that they show your love uh, to the beneficiaries of Bloom. God, I pray that through our giving this Christmas, uh, we would see more lives change, more hope, more healing in the nation of Cambodia. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Bravo, Moscone! Woohoo! Isn't that lovely? Uh, what are you lot looking at? I'm just trying to play a song for the wee lad. Can you let me do that, please? Honestly, let's try that again, shall we? Um, um, hello? Hello, you over there? What's with all the noise? Uh, excuse me, who are you two with your wee little bags and your floppy hats? Do you want to hear some more of my lovely pipes? No, please, please make it stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does the sound of my pipes defend your high and mighty sensibilities or something? Yes. Uh, this is the birth of Jesus Christ, and you're playing bagpipes? What child is going to fall asleep to bagpipes? Are you daft? The sound of my pipes are enough to lull any chronic insomniac off to sleep, guarantee. Ready? Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> You're gone! Let's go, come get Honestly, her. Honestly, so rude, it's highly offensive. Come get her, that's it. Make yourself useful and hold this for me. Aye. Good lad. You're I, holding her pipes. I see what you're doing. You'll never catch me. I may be Scottish, but I'm very quick on my feet. Are you ready? Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm running circles around you. Oh, oh what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, that's too many circles. Oh, that's, that's a bit too many there. Oh, it's, did someone turn out the lights there? Oh, d- Okay, Can you yeah. check to make sure she's okay? We don't quite have all authority. Yes, it has to be PG. Uh, oh, yes. We'll take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is very good. <laughs> Goodness me. Well, we didn't need any prophecies or ancient texts to know there wasn't an angry bagpipe playing Scottish shepherd in the Bible. No, and there isn't one in our story either. Uh, a job well done. Have fun. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Let's check the scroll. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, after Jesus' birth, Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? Spoilers, he's right over there. We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. What? And here they come now. Oh, let's go, let's go.
when Christ was born. Well, is uh, life full for you yet this Christmas? You know, many of us at this time of year, we've got a, a full calendar. We've got work events, we've got school events, we've got parties, family reunions, catching up with friends. You know, I've got an event on every night from the 1st to the 21st of December, and I literally just had no room left in my calendar to put up the Christmas tree and to hang the lights. So I asked my 21-year-old son to do it, and this is what I came home to during the week. You know, this time of year, we, we, our lives get overbooked. The calendar gets overbooked. And if you go to the shops, the shops are so full, it's overwhelming. You know, the car park's full, the aisles are full, the toilets are full, the checkouts are full. And yet still somehow I manage to leave with a trolley full of stuff that I don't really need. You know, I stopped in at Audi during the week to buy a box of coffee pods and two litres of milk, and I left with a three-man tent, a giant reindeer, and a caravan cover. <laughs> I don't even own a caravan. But, but it was marked down in that middle aisle, and I, I just couldn't resist. I, I kind of like the reindeer. But if anyone here has a 24-foot caravan, come and see me at the end. Have I got a Christmas deal for you? Anyone's credit card full this Christmas? You know, with the price of diesel, I had to take out a second mortgage just to drive to the shops to buy the stuff that I didn't need. And I reckon Santa must be running his sleigh on diesel this year. I found out it was $50 to get a photo with the big fella. I thought, how hard can it be to put on a red suit, stuff a pillow up your jumper, and get all your family lined up and smiling at the same time? It turns out it was a little harder than I thought. <laughs> Even my grandkids wouldn't cooperate. Santa can have his 50 bucks next year. But if there's one thing that Christmas is full of, it's food. We fill our bellies with ham and prawns and turkey and pavlova and pudding and my personal favourite, fruit mince pies, and we get to the end of Christmas Day and our bellies look a little bit like this and we have no need to shove a pillow up our jumper to pretend to be Santa anymore. You know, we, we can get to Christmas and we are overloaded, we have overspent, we are overwhelmed, and we're overfed. In fact, we can fill our lives with so much stuff at Christmas that we got no room left for the Saviour, that the Saviour actually gets squeezed out of Christmas and we got no room for him. You know, on that first Christmas night, there was literally no room for the Saviour. You know, Joseph and Mary had travelled to Bethlehem for the census along with thousands of others, and the city was chock-a-block full. And it says, on the night that Mary was to give birth, she wrapped her baby in swaddling cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. You know, poor old Joseph, about to have his firstborn child, and he forgets to book a room for his wife to give birth. I imagine it was a very silent night in the Joseph and Mary household that night. You know, the birth of Christ was actually prophesied for 600 years. 600 years God had promised a saviour. And on this first Christmas night, every person was perfectly positioned. 
Every place was planned. Every promise that God had made over 600 years was kept. Every single prophecy was fulfilled. And yet still, there was no room for the Saviour of the world to be born. And so the Saviour of the whole world was born in a lowly stable. Now, while there may have been no room for the Saviour to be born, the good news of Christmas is that he's got room in his heart for every person. You know, on that same night, some shepherds were terrified when an angel, you know, showed up in the sky and said to these shepherds, do not be afraid. We bring you good news of great joy. And these next four words are really important. For all the people. Good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. You see, this little baby actually grew up and he had room in his heart for everyone. He had room in his heart for broken people and he healed them. He had room in his heart for hungry people and he fed them. He had room in his heart for doubtful people and he was very patient with them. And this is really important for all of us. He had room in his heart for sinful people and he forgave them. You see, Jesus grew up and he performed many miracles. His birth was a miracle. And yet the greatest miracle of his life was not at the beginning of his life, but at the very end. This baby born of a virgin, all the power of God, lived a perfect life and yet emptied himself and became obedient to death on a cross. Jesus Christ, the perfect son of God, allowed himself to be nailed to a cross, to take your sins on his shoulders, so that what once separated you from God, separated him from his Father, so that you'll never be separated from the presence of God ever again. You know, God demonstrated how much he loves us, that while we were still sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. You see, your sin was on his shoulders because your name was written on his heart. Jesus has room in his heart for you. You know, there may not have been any celebrities that came to the stable. There were no rock stars that turned up on that night. But the good news of Christmas is that he came to save us from a life of having everything in this world and yet still feeling unfulfilled on the inside. He's got room in his heart for, for people who've got everything that this world has to offer but still feel empty on the inside. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're thankful and I've always believed that you're still alive. And there were no skivvies at the stable. But the good news of Christmas is that Jesus has room in his part for people of all ages. He's got room in his heart for young people with lots of energy and big questions about the world. And he's also got room in his heart for old people, for, for people that <laughs> may have fallen asleep spiritually some time ago. And maybe this Christmas, God is actually awakening you from a spiritual slumber because he's got room in his heart for you. And there was definitely no angry Scottish bagpipe playing shepherds in the stable. But there were shepherds. Aye, that's funny. Yeah, it's really bonny, actually, because shepherds were considered dirty and they had to keep a distance from the presence of God. And yet they were the first ones that were invited to come close. And maybe you're here tonight, or this morning even, and you've been keeping your distance from God. You, you might be angry at God. 
You might be angry at the church, but you actually have realised that it's making you bitter on the inside and not better. You see, the good news of Christmas is that Jesus has room in his heart for you and he's able to heal the brokenness of sin and give you lasting joy. I know he can do it for you because I've watched him heal the hearts of some beautiful young girls in Cambodia that have been so broken. It seems like there is no hope for future joy. But I've watched this leadership team that you saw up on stage before minister the good news of Jesus in word and deed over the last 13 years. And I have seen Jesus heal these broken lives one day at a time. You see, the good news of Christmas is that Jesus has room in his heart for every person from every nation, every tribe, every language, every people group. Jesus has room in his heart for you. Anyone that comes to Jesus in humble faith and asks for forgiveness and puts their faith in Jesus Christ as Saviour and Lord will never, ever be sent away. Never be sent away. He's got room in his heart for you. You know, we sing a carol every Christmas that says, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. You see, Jesus got room in his heart for you. The big question is, have you prepared room in your heart for him? I want to give you just three simple ways as I finish this morning that you can prepare room in your heart for Jesus. Firstly, prepare room in your heart for a relationship with Jesus. Jesus didn't come to start a new religion. He came to invite you into a new relationship. And if you've got some big questions about what it means to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, we'd love you to come to our Alpha course that we run every year and we've got a new one starting in the new year. It's a, it's a course for people with big questions. We'd love you to come along and work out how to start a new relationship with Jesus. Secondly, prepare room in your calendar to join a church family. Maybe you've got out of the habit of being in church the last couple of years, or maybe you've always kept your distance because you've never been sure whether you are welcome. Can I promise you, we prepare room in this place and online for you every Sunday, and every single person who walks through those doors will always be welcome. And thirdly, prepare a room in Cambodia to build futures of light. You see, following Jesus is not just about a personal relationship with Jesus, and it's not just about joining a church. But we're called as followers of Jesus to continue the mission of Jesus today, loving and serving and bringing healing to those that are hurting and broken in the world. And this Christmas, together as a community, we, we can give a gift that will prepare a room, an early learning center, where women can heal from their past and their children can build a better future and they will be free from the horrors of human trafficking ever again. It's a gift that will bring generational change. Jesus has got room in his heart for you. Have you prepared room in your heart for him? Let me pray for us this morning. Would you close your eyes and bow your heads? Father God, we thank you that you did show how much you loved us by sending your son Jesus to die for us when we were still sinners. Thank you for the good news of great joy for all people that we celebrate at Christmas. But may this not just be a Christmas celebration. May this Christmas, every heart, prepare him room. Father, this morning I pray for those who have been keeping their distance. God, that they'll hear this invitation to come close and they'll receive you into their hearts. God, I pray for those that are hurting and broken. 
this Christmas. God, would you prepare room in their hearts for your healing to come. And God, I pray that for those that are just living in sadness and lacking joy this Christmas, God, as we prepare room for you, would you come and bring lasting joy in our hearts and in the hearts of young women and their children in Cambodia as we give together this Christmas. Jesus, we declare that you are good news of great joy for all the people. We give you praise today. And it's in your name we pray. And everybody said? Amen. Amen. Hey, we're going to sing that carol now. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. Come on, let's lift our voices, sing it together.
thanks for celebrating the birth of Christ with us. We would love to see you at any of our services in person or online. Everybody who comes to Gateway is welcome. You can find out more about us at gatewaybaptist.com.au. If you'd like to know more about how to prepare room in your heart to have a relationship with Jesus, we would love to help you start that journey. You can email online at gatewaybaptist.com.au and let us know that you'd like to know more about having a relationship with Jesus. Or if you'd like to give a gift that will bring generational change to people in South Asia, you can visit bloomasia.org. We hope that your heart is filled with joy and hope wherever and whenever this finds you. Bless you.